Next weekend in Japan is going to be the release of the next Kamen Rider Movie War film. This time for Geats and Revice, being titled Kamen Rider Geats x Kamen Rider Revice Movie War Battle Royale. And this is going to be a pretty cool film. We've been getting a lot of information about this film over the last couple of weeks after superhero time airings and everything like that. And the second they dropped this poster back in November that confirmed that Kamen Rider Ryuki was being involved with this film, I was so hyped. So let's go ahead and talk about what we know so far for the Geats and Revice Winter Movie. So as with most of the Kamen Rider Winter films, this film was confirmed after the airing of the Kamen Rider Revice Battle Familia film back in July, when we got the poster showing off Geats with Revice. It was actually like pretty much the first time we ever got to see Kamen Rider Geats' suit design. It kind of leaked from these original posters, and I talked about that back in July when his first design kind of leaked because he had a little cameo in that film. Now, every year we do get these crossover films. Uh, we've only ever skipped it like one time, and that was because of COVID, uh, that we never got like a proper like Saber and Zero One film. Uh, even though they did interact in Superhero Sankey later in the next year. Uh, but this has always been a tradition ever since 2010 for us to get a summer film or a winter, well, yeah, summer film, but then also a winter film that has the current comedy series kind of face off or meet with the characters of the last one. Now, this is going to be no different here. We are going to get a Comrade of Revice and Geats crossover film here, but kind of keeping with the whole spirit of Comrade of Geats with the whole Desire Grand Prix and this kind of Battle Royale tournament, they are including characters from Kamen Rider Ryuki to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the series. Now, that has me super, super hyped. Kamen Rider Ryuki is one of my all-time favorite Kamen Rider series, and not only is that going to be really, really cool to see on screen, but they finally confirmed this past weekend, and it was always kind of unsure because the trailers never really confirmed it one way or the other if actual Ryuki cast members were coming back. But they did confirm this past weekend that they are getting every Ryuki actor whose like, suit we've seen in the promos, they are getting them back. So we are going to have Comrade Ryuki and Ryuga himself. We're going to have Shinji in this film. Of course, also Dark Shinji because of that as well. Ren is coming back as Kamen Rider Knight, and Asakura is coming back as Kamen Rider Oja, which is not super surprising. Surprising at the very least I was expecting him to return uh, because he has already been confirmed for the next episode of the TTFC special Kamen Rider Outsiders which premieres this upcoming January on TTFC and has also kind of been hinting that they might give Oja a survive form in that which would be really really cool to see if they actually do pull that off or actually go through with that kind of thing so I was not going to be super surprised if he was at least announced for this but I wasn't sure if they were going to get like Shinji and Ren back but they absolutely are. We've been getting these awesome posters of the Ryuki Riders to promote the fact that they're in the film. And I just, I love the matchups that we see on this poster. I gotta admit though, I am infinitely more excited to see the Ryuki characters interacting with the Geats characters than I am to see the Revice characters interact with the Geats characters. I could not necessarily care less about the Revice cast in this. I get it that this is their time, you know, their post-movie or their post-show movie to kind of have a sort of like wrap-up before their Visa Nexts come out next year, uh, which we've already been getting like posters and buy stamps and stuff for. So, you know, they, they, they deserve their time in the limelight and in the spotlight, of course, but... I, the whole Ryuki thing is infinitely more exciting to me than seeing the Revice characters again. I just, I never really finished Revice. I thought it was a pretty solid show, but it, I kind of fell off for me and everything like that. But there are some really cool things for, for Revice that I am excited to see with this. Uh, starting out with this brand new Kamen Rider over Demons form, which might be like Kamen Rider Julio or something. It's not 100% sure if he's actually going to get a new name with this form. But as we saw on the show, Tamaki became Kamen Rider over Demons. He took over the mantle of that. And originally he just had his like original over demon suit he didn't have anything new or specific but we do see here he has a little bit of a different suit it has a bigger horn and everything like that on the helmet it's a little bit of a different paint scheme and he's using some kind of new five stamp of some kind we can't really get a good look at it it almost kind of looks like the new big spider one uh, that we're getting with the visa next film it might be that i'm not 100 percent sure exactly what stamp that's going to be other than it's probably going to be some kind of premium release if it's not just the one from the Visa Next. So that's really cool to see that. I'm happy he's going to get his own dedicated rider form. He definitely does deserve to have a unique suit to him. Comrade Juga is going to be returning in this film, which honestly has me very, very excited because I absolutely love the Juga suit a ton. Like, I don't know why I like that suit so much, but I really, really like that suit. It's honestly probably one of my favorite Comrade suits that we've had in recent memory, and I absolutely regret not picking up his driver when I went over pre-order over the summer and I don't think that they ever showed off the feature of that driver's toy where you scan the buy stamps and it reads the rider names instead of the animal names. 
I don't think it ever did that in the show for the very brief amount of time Jugo was on screen, so this is another opportunity for that to happen, as well as the whole Jugo versus Ortega special that we are also supposed to be getting on TTFC at some point in the future, so this is not going to be the last time we see the Jugo suit, and for that, very, very excited. So we can kind of gather that at least some of the Revice characters are going to be joining the Desire Grand Prix with this movie. Uh, they, there's already a first release, or not really a first release, but there's already a premium movie ticket bonus item of a Vice ID core, which is just the helmets of Comrade Vice as an ID core. Pretty cool. I mean, at the same time, it's kind of annoying that we're getting an ID core like that before we get any of the ones from the show, like Ginpen or Dupan or Mary or anything like that. Uh, they've been very... Not good about releasing the numerous amounts of ID cores that we've seen in Comrade Geats, so that's definitely kind of annoying in that regard. Uh, but the Vice one does look cool, obviously it's just going to unlock the same entry sounds in the Desire Driver, so it's definitely pretty skippable, but I do believe that it's going to be in the film. I think that there's a picture out there or something uh, with Icky and Vice having Desire Drivers on, so I'm not sure if that's going to just give them Desire Drivers on their regular suits or what's going to happen. I don't know if the Revice buckle is going to appear in the movie. Uh, it did actually appear in the finale of Revice when Ace came in and stole it from Icky, so it's possible that that could be some kind of thing that plays a, you know, a role in this film. We're going to have to wait and see on that, but still, I think that that is kind of a cool thing, you know, to kind of have older characters from older shows join the Grand Prix. I'm sure that's also going to have something to do with why the Ryuki characters are back. Uh, which, speaking of that, we see some really cool matchups on the poster here. We see, like, Tycoon fighting Ryuga, which I think is a really cool one. Buffa versus Oja is really cool. It makes a lot of sense, too, of all the purples and everything like that. So, I just, uh, this is going to be cool. While Oja has returned many times over the years and is, like I said earlier, coming back again for the TTFC special, this is the first time that we're seeing Shinji and Ren, Knight and Ryuki himself, since the Rider Time Ryuki special during Geo. So, they came back not too too long ago it was only about three years nearly four years ago at the time of this uh, movie being a thing that they returned so that's cool to see them back to celebrate the 20th anniversary uh, Ryuki like I said earlier means a lot to me there's also just been a lot of Ryuki stuff going on recently like Shot Factory announcing that Ryuki is getting a US Blu-ray release uh, early in the spring of 2023 with all of the episodes from the show as well as also the episode final movie is being included on there which is not streaming on Tokushatsu which is really cool um, so there will be an Amazon affiliate link actually for Ryuki down in the description below. If you've yet to pre-order it there, there is an Amazon affiliate link down there that will help out the channel if you use it there. So just a lot of Ryuki stuff going on. Uh, you might be able to see behind me until I pointed it out right now. I finally stickered all my Soto figures of Ryuki after the news of the cast returning. It got me back into a whole Ryuki mood and same thing with the Blu-ray announcement and everything. So I'm going to show this off real quick. So here are all of my Soto Chronicle Kamara Ryuki figures. I finally finished stickering them all up. Uh, the last one I had to do was this premium Bandai set that had all of the movie and special riders, so Ryuga, Fom, and Verde. I'm so happy to finally have a set of these. Ryuki has always been one of my all-time favorite Kamara shows, it's definitely in my top three. So to finally have action figures of literally every single rider and form from the show Except for Blank Oja from that movie, that's the only figure that they didn't make, but between three retail sets and one premium set, you can get all 13 of the main riders, you can get both versions of Alternative, both Survive Forms, Blank Form Ryuki, the only thing they didn't make was Blank Form Oja and Abyss from Comrade Decayed. I love this so, so much. It's literally like a Toku dream come true uh, for me to have figures of all of these characters finally in my collection. But yeah, just a lot of cool things happening with this movie, and we haven't even talked about like the villain for the movie yet, a brand new Geats Rider known as Kamen Rider Seeker, uh, which is going to use this like construction kind of buckle there. I believe we probably have a name for it. I don't recall what the name of it is, uh, but we have like this kind of dual buckle set he's going to have, sort of similar to like the Twin Command one, where it's like a two buckle set thing. I do believe from what we understand that this is getting a retail release actually at the end of this month, hopefully with Seeker's ID core. Not 100% sure about that, and I think there's also rumors that Geats is going to use the buckle in the movie as well. Uh, but this guy is actually using a lot of repainted weapons from other stuff, just like any other Geats villain or Geats character, I suppose. Um, so his sword is actually a repaint of Tokyo's sword from Tokyo, which is definitely a very interesting one there, so using a Sentai repaint. And then he has like this gun thing that is a repaint of a Zek Trooper gun from Kamurada Kabuto. But yeah, this whole like deer, elk, I think it's more of supposed to be like a Shika, you know, a deer a kind of motif there. I think looks really really cool i love the whole construction yellow and black and everything he's got going on and he he looks like a very like a lot more of a more sophisticated geats rider but he still definitely fits in with the whole geats motifs he has the entry suit underneath he has the desire driver and id core all that kind of stuff and i really like it so comrade seeker is pretty cool there uh but that's kind of all the main things we have to talk about for this film 
Super, super excited to see it released here. It's going to get released in Japan next weekend, right before Christmas Eve. I think it's like December 23rd is the release date of that. And I'm sure we'll eventually get to see it subbed online in like March or April or something, whenever the DVD Blu-ray releases of it come out. But what do you guys think of this down in the comments below? What do you want to see from the Revice characters returning for this film? What do you want to see with the Geats interactions? I'm not sure exactly how involved the Ryuki characters are going to be. They seem to be pretty heavily involved in the marketing, but at the same time, this is still a Revice and Geats movie first and foremost. I do believe it's being structured like the older like uh, movie wars, where we had like a segment for the old show and then a segment for the new show, instead of kind of being a general crossover for the whole thing that we've had a little bit more recently or with like the Heisei Generations films and stuff like that so kind of an interesting thing to kind of go back to that format. I think both formats have their pros and cons uh, but I'm very excited to see how this film goes because I always think that the movie wars are pretty fun. There's some duds in there obviously uh, over the years because they've been doing this for over a decade but for the most part, I definitely do look forward to these. So like I said, love to know your guys' thoughts about this down in the comments below, about the Revice characters, the Geet stuff, the Ryuki stuff, Comrade Seeker, are you going to try to get his buckles when they release at the end of the month, which we haven't had any like official promo shots or anything like that for? Are you going to try to get that Vice ID core? Anything down in the comments below, I want to hear about it. And until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter, at LiveRangerKey, or at LandingFigPR, and I'll see you all later.